this year. Joining us now for more in a Closing Bell exclusive is AMC Entertainment CEO Adam Aaron. Welcome back. Boy, do we have a lot to talk about, Adam. First, first Hi, just on Sarah. the reopening well, of nice New York City. Hey, New York nice City to have you such... here. New York. Well, but my question on New York City, Adam, was, was whether you're going to get major movies, because New York and L.A. have been closed, and that's been, obviously, those are two huge, really important markets. But New York at only 25 percent capacity, L.A. still closed. Are you going to get the big ticket items, movies? Yes. So, look, today is such a great day for AMC. Across the country, as the largest movie theater chain in the United States, uh, about 90 percent of our theaters are open. But... Uh, nothing is more important to us than opening in New York and Los Angeles. We're opening New York City, uh, 13 theaters tonight. Uh, 29 theaters in New York State will be open tonight. Uh, our theaters in New York City have been closed, as you said, for 50 and a half weeks. And just to show you what it means to have pent-up demand, across the 500-plus theaters that are, are open this weekend uh, for AMC, Two of the three biggest theaters in the country with advanced sales are in New York City. Seven of the top 20 theaters in the country in terms of advanced ticket sales are in New York City. And we think New York is first, but we think LA is two, three, four weeks behind. What that means for us is a lot of new movie titles are coming out. I could rattle off a long list of major titles that are coming out real soon. So let's talk about the Reddit retail trading phenomenon, Adam. I don't think we've, we've had you on since that's happened. What was that like to watch your stock price spike uh, as it became a meme stock, number two right under GameStop? And, and do, you, do you embrace it? Do you embrace it? Well, look, obviously there's been significant volatility in our, our share price, uh, and I'm aware of what's going on. But my focus has been on managing our business and driving the recovery of our business. What I find so appealing about uh, this Reddit phenomenon is the uh, affection and allegiance that Americans have across the country to AMC, to movie going, to seeing theater, uh, mo movies at theaters. Uh, you're, you know, you're seeing millions and millions of people rally behind saving AMC. Do, do you think that was their motivation, Adam? Oh, I don't think it's appropriate for me to comment in great detail about the Robin Hood and Reddit phenomena. Suffice to say that with movies like Raya opening this weekend, Paramount's A Quiet Place 2 moving into Memorial Day weekend, Sony just bringing Peter Rabbit earlier into May, uh, 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 Top Gun 2 uh, going to christen the 4th of July weekend, uh, Universal's F9, the latest Fast and Furious uh, uh, installment. You know, there are so many movies that are about to break. The, 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 so many studios pulled movies from 2020 and delayed them to 2021. They're finally at hand. Theaters are opening. Titles are coming. And perhaps most important of all, uh, we've got vaccinations happening all across mm -hmm. the United States. Uh, add that all together. Add that to the safety protocols that we put in place at our theaters, I actually see good times ahead for AMC. H have you, though, Adam, raised more cash than you would have otherwise done or raised more cash than you even need because of the artificially inflated share price because of the Reddit, the, the Reddit frenzy? So the incredible irony of all this is that between April and January, AMC raised about $2.2 billion of cash uh, another uh, billion and a half dollars of concessions from uh, lenders and, uh, and and landlords. And of that $2.2 billion of cash that we raised, 99% of it occurred before the so-called Reddit rally. Um, uh, uh, are we done raising cash? We haven't decided yet. Uh, we know that we've got enough cash in our bank now to last a long time. If we see even a partial recovery of the movie theater industry this summer, and that's what we'd like to expect, thanks to movie titles and vaccinations and safe, clean theaters. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.